Today we're here with Fairfax Media and Stuff.co.nz journalist Siobhan Downs. Siobhan is also the writer behind award-winning blog The Only Blonde in Osaka. In 2003, she was the winner of the Fairfax Media Journalism Prize for, and the top journalism student at Massey University. To start off with, I wonder if you could briefly describe your job. Sure, so I work for Stuff.co.nz and Fairfax Media. Um, I'm a national news reporter currently and that means doing any stories of national interest. Do you feel that having Japanese language ability or having that knowledge has helped in your career? The important thing about journalism is that um, we want diverse journalists. So we want people from a range of different backgrounds with lots of different types of knowledge. And so I think having Japanese language really helped me to get a job as that point of difference. I wonder if you could talk about what first attracted you to Japan and Japanese. Sure, well um, I started Japanese when I was at high school, so um, 13 years old and the reason I started was because first of all my school principal said you know it's really good to do a language um, and then I thought well, what one will I do and I remembered I really liked Sailor Moon the anime as a child and I thought well I'll do Japanese because Sailor Moon is Japanese and yeah loved it. <laughs> so do you feel that your career would have taken a different path if you hadn't had this this extra language knowledge? I probably wouldn't have had the same interest in Asia that I have now. Um, that's one of the things I like focusing on in my journalism. I'm always looking for Asian New Zealand issues and how I can do stories related to that. Yeah, it's just become a real passion of mine. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. I have one last question before we go, and it's kind yes. of a situational. Okay. So imagine that you're in a, a lift and you overhear uh, a young student uh, who's try, trying to figure out what courses they're going to take, uh, either at high school or university. They've been given the advice that maybe they shouldn't carry on with Japanese, even though they really love it, and instead swap to uh, a hard subject or a, a core subject, such as English or maths. Is there anything that you would say to such a student? Would you say something to such a student? Yeah, definitely. I would say keep up the Japanese because it's going to teach you skills that, you know, you, you can learn in those hard subjects. So you're going to learn persistence, you're going to learn great memory skills with all the memorising of hiragana and kanji and all that kind of stuff. And it will also take you places that you never could have imagined. So I've been to Japan five times now loved it every time and it's just a country that I think of as my second home so I would be really disappointed if other people missed out on that too. Oh that sounds amazing. Thank you very much for your time today. It's been lovely to meet you. You too. Thank you.